Esther Thompson and I am Design and Arts Editor at Wallpaper. Chair arches were traditionally built in the Victorian times. If there was a special occasion in a town or village around Britain, so for example the Queen was coming to visit or any royalty, they would traditionally build an arch out of whatever their local industry was over the main street. The chair making is very traditional, very indigenous to the, the Chilterns and High Wycombe and it was, goes back three or four hundred years when the um, beech trees, the bodgers they called them, which is a rather unfair title really, but the bodgers worked in the, in the woodlands uh, making chairs and they produced chairs in a thousand. The idea really seemed to strike a chord with lots of people and I approached Martino Gamper because to me has always been chairman because of his project 100 Chairs in, in 100 Days and he seemed the logical choice of somebody to, to design an arch like this. My name is Martino Gamper, I'm a furniture designer. My initial thoughts were to do something that uh, obviously was an arch but not necessarily something that I knew from images where historically they would build a scaffolding, some kind of structure and then on this on this structure kind of fix you know chairs onto it i wanted to create a um, an arch that was self supporting made out of chairs with the least kind of help of any other other means so really just chairs stuck up into an arch i decided to use the arch chairs because there are kind of two links to that to the arch chair and the chair arches historically obviously in buckinghamshire there used to be um, all these chair arches during the century and one of the few last companies left that really produces furniture in the UK. Secondly, the, the chair model that we choose was very suitable for stacking. We've worked very closely with both Martina and the engineers on, on the design because the, the chair itself is very tough, very solid chair, but it's, it's quite an art to make the angles, to make the arch stand up and then working with Martino on the colours and the arrangement has been fantastic. I experienced some problems with the chair itself since it's made out of wood. We realised that between one and the other chair there were some discrepancies in terms of tolerance. So obviously building a huge chair arch does make a difference. We had to kind of rethink around this idea that each chair could be could be different and still kind of create a rigid structure. The bigger you, you make something, the the complexity doesn't rise by double, but you know kind of accelerates somehow. London is actually the most exciting city in the world for design at the moment, and we really wanted to celebrate that. So it makes sense to to do it this year during the London Design Festival. There's been a lot of talk about the, um, the current state of manufacturing in Britain and a lot of doom and gloom and everybody's moaning about it, but actually I think there's a lot to be proud of here and with this chair arch we'll be able to see that we do still have manufacturers that are really fantastic and, and, um, and worth celebrating. Mm -hmm.